Who is winning the global EV race? In this video, we will examine the current state of the global electric vehicle race, highlighting the advantages and disadvantages faced by the major players which include China, the US, and Europe. As the world moves towards sustainable transportation, each region is leveraging its unique strengths to capture market share and spur innovation. Number 4. China's Strengths China's strategy of integrating industrial capability, consumer demand, and government policy has allowed it to dominate the electric vehicle market. China is currently the world's largest electric vehicle market, accounting for over 52% of global sales as of Q1 2024. The remarkable growth in the adoption of electric vehicles can be attributed mainly to a range of government initiatives. The Chinese government has implemented various subsidies, tax incentives, and grants aimed at both consumers and manufacturers. For instance, buyers of electric vehicles can receive substantial rebates that significantly reduce the upfront costs, making EVs more accessible to the average consumer. Chinese automakers have quickly changed to meet the growing demand for electric vehicles. Companies like BYD, NIO, and Geely have emerged as key players not only in the domestic market but also in the international arena. BYD, for example, has become one of the largest EV manufacturers globally, producing a wide range of models that cater to various segments of the market, from affordable compact cars to luxury electric SUVs. The company has also expanded its operations internationally, establishing a presence in Europe, Latin America, and other regions China's strong battery manufacturing capabilities, which are essential to the electric vehicle supply chain, support this expansion. Some of the biggest battery producers in the world, including BYD and CATL, are based in China and produce large quantities of lithium-ion batteries. Chinese automakers are positioned favorably in the international market thanks to this vertical integration, which enables them to maintain competitive pricing and guarantee a consistent supply of necessary components. Moreover, China has made significant investments in charging infrastructure, with a focus on building a comprehensive network of charging stations across urban and rural areas. Given that a strong charging network is necessary to allay consumer concerns regarding range anxiety, the government has set high goals for the quantity of charging points that must be installed. China leads the world in the number of public charging stations with over 2 million as of early 2024. This vast infrastructure helps to both support the increasing number of electric vehicles on the road and boost consumer confidence in switching from internal combustion engine vehicles to electric ones. Number 3. Tesla's Innovation Lead as of Q1 2024, Tesla has solidified its position as the market leader for electric vehicles, accounting for a substantial 20% of all BEV sales worldwide. The company's success is primarily attributable to its unwavering focus on innovation, state-of-the-art technology, and a compelling brand identity that appeals to customers who care about the environment. Tesla's product lineup, which includes the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, has set industry standards for performance, range, and advanced features. The Model 3 in particular has become one of the best-selling electric cars worldwide thanks to its combination of affordability, performance, and range. Tesla's dedication to over-the-air updates and software development is one of its most notable advantages. With the help of this feature, Tesla is able to make constant improvements to the features and performance of its cars without having to conduct physical recalls or service calls. As an illustration, Tesla updates its full self-driving software frequently to improve both the vehicle's autonomous capabilities and user interface. The collaboration between Tesla and Baidu, which aims to advance autonomous driving technology, is a prime example of Tesla's approach to capitalize on outside knowledge while retaining its market-leading position in electric vehicles. The goal of this partnership is to combine Tesla's current technology with Baidu's expertise in artificial intelligence and machine learning to create more advanced self-driving features that have the potential to revolutionize both private and public transportation. Additionally, Tesla's production strategy heavily relies on its Giga factories, the Jika factory in Nevada, for example, is one of the largest battery factories in the world and produces lithium-ion batteries, which power Tesla's vehicles. This vertically integrated approach not only reduces production costs, but also ensures a reliable supply of batteries, which are the most expensive and crucial components of electric vehicles. Apart from vehicles, Tesla's focus on innovation extends to energy solutions like solar panels and energy storage systems, positioning the company as a holistic provider of sustainable energy solutions. These massive facilities are spread across different parts of the world and are designed to produce batteries and electric vehicles at a never-before-sealed level. Number 2. U.S. and Europe Catching Up Due to a combination of legislative measures, large financial outlays, and traditional automakers' increasing commitment to the switch to electric mobility, the U.S. and Europe are leading the way in the electric vehicle market. President Biden's administration in the United States has set high standards for EV adoption, 
hoping that by 2030, half of all new cars sold will be electric. I propose $174 billion investment plan aimed at boosting domestic battery and electric vehicle production, expanding the charging infrastructure, and offering consumer incentives all support this initiative. The plan addresses one of the main obstacles to EV adoption, the lack of infrastructure for charging EVs. Major U.S. automakers such as General Motors, Ford, and Rivian are ramping up their electric vehicle offerings, with plans to introduce a diverse range of models in the coming years. General Motors has committed to an all-electric future, pledging to offer 30 new electric models by 2025 Ford. On the other hand, it's investing $50 billion in EV development through Thunder, with the European Union enforcing strict regulations aimed at reducing carbon emissions from vehicles, the EV landscape in Europe is similarly dynamic. Ambitious goals are outlined in the EU's Fit for 55 and Green Deal packages to increase the percentage of electric vehicles on the road and eventually phase out internal combustion engine vehicles by 2035. Automakers are investing heavily in the development and production of electric vehicles as a result of this regulatory framework. Well, no automakers like VW, BMW, and Audi are introducing new electric models to meet the rising demand for environmentally friendly mobility. Volkswagen has made a substantial commitment to electrification with its ID series, which includes the ID4 SUV and ID Buzz Van, among other fully electric models. Furthermore, from the procurement of raw materials to the production processes, European manufacturers are putting a strong emphasis on sustainability across their supply chains. To lessen their impact on the environment, many businesses are investing in battery recycling technologies and investigating substitute materials. In an effort to lessen its dependency on imports from nations like China, the EU is also supporting programs to improve battery production and recycling capabilities within its borders. By emphasizing sustainability, European automakers are positioned to lead the shift to electric mobility, meeting both consumer expectations and regulatory requirements for eco-friendly products. Number 1. Challenges and the Road Ahead even though many nations and automakers have made great strides in the EV race, there are still a number of obstacles that could prevent the widespread use of electric vehicles. The high price of EVs in comparison to conventional internal combustion engine vehicles is one of the most urgent problems. Even though prices have been declining as a result of technological advancements and heightened competition, many consumers still consider electric vehicles to be unaffordable, especially in areas where government incentives are scarce. One major obstacle to EV adoption is still their initial cost, particularly for consumers on a tight budget. In order to solve this, governments and automakers need to collaborate to create models that are more widely accessible and reasonably priced, making electric vehicles available to all facets of society. The lack of adequate charging infrastructure, which differs greatly between nations and regions, is another major obstacle to the adoption of EVs. Potential EV buyers may experience range anxiety in rural areas due to inadequate access to charging stations, despite the fact that charging stations in urban areas are becoming more numerous. Fast charging station accessibility is especially important for long-distance drivers, who need to know that their cars can be conveniently and swiftly recharged. Governments and commercial businesses must invest in fast charging technology and expand the charging network in order to support the shift to electric vehicles. The creation of a comprehensive charging infrastructure that satisfies the requirements of all EV users can result from joint efforts between the public and private sectors. Another important factor in the development of the EV market is consumer preferences. Because of worries about EVs' perceived performance in comparison to conventional cars, charging times, and range, many consumers are still reluctant to convert to EVs. To dispel these myths and emphasize the advantages of EV ownership, such as lower operating costs, a smaller environmental footprint, and the ease of home charging, education and awareness campaigns are required. By highlighting the performance capabilities of electric vehicles and stressing that many of them offer acceleration and handling that either match or surpass those of conventional vehicles, automakers can also influence consumer perceptions. The global EV race is still in its early stages, and the outcome will depend on the collective efforts of all stakeholders involved in shaping the future of mobility. If you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel.